Pigeon number 40TW194. In 1982, retired probation officer David Martin discovered a pigeon skeleton with a faded red capsule in the chimney of his Surrey, England home. Within the capsule was a coded World War II message identifying the military carrier pigeon as 40TW194, sent on a secret mission with a companion, 37DK76. The fact that two birds had been dispatched with the same message suggested that they were carrying information of vital importance. According to historians, it's estimated that more than 250,000 pigeons were used as messengers by the British National Pigeon Service during World War II. Experts who analyzed the capsule found by David Martin believed that the pigeon was sent home from behind enemy lines in German-occupied France in the days prior to the invasion of Normandy on June 6, 1944. The capsule, about the size of a 35mm film canister, never reached its unknown destination, X02, and the code written on 40TW194's rolled-up piece of paper has never been cracked. Exhausted, wounded, or seeking shelter from foul weather, the pigeon ended up in the chimney, where it was found almost four decades later. Several historians claim that the bird was apparently carrying the message to Bletchley Park, where Britain's largest code-breaking facility was located. Other theories suggest that X-02 was actually Bomber Command, and the code relayed German panzer positions during the invasion of Normandy. The message is thought to have been a random five-letter group cipher from the codebook of an unidentified Sergeant W. Stott. As of 2016, Britain's government communications headquarters maintained that there was no record of 40TW194, and the single-use code was unbreakable without a key. In an interview with the National Interest, a historian from the headquarters said that, quote, the sorts of code that were constructed during operations were designed only to be able to be read by the senders and the recipients. If it's only used once, and it's properly random, and it's properly guarded by the sender and the recipient, it's unbreakable. Hidden Bullet Cryptogram In 2015, a group of Italian metal detectors from the internet forum Metal Detector Per Tutti dug up a strange World War II-era bullet casing alongside other relics. The item was uncovered just south of Tuscany, and inside it was a rolled-up and faded handwritten secret code dated August 13th, 1944. As the news went viral, an American claimed to have deciphered it. To this day, the message inside has been the subject of continuous Nazi mockery. During both world wars, it was not uncommon for soldiers to remove a bullet from its case and hide secret notes. When the Italian metal detectors found such a note inside a bullet in 2015, an American from the online friendly metal detecting forums claimed to have solved the code using his grandfather's codebook. The secret message allegedly read, quote, They throw grenades, we pull pins and throw back. Notify reinforcements, stand down. Not needed. There's been debate about whether the translation or the note itself were a joke, but there might be some authentic historical context behind the finding. By 1944, most Italian forces had already surrendered to the Allied forces, and few remained loyal to Mussolini. Germans stationed in Italy proceeded to disarm the Italian army and confiscated their war equipment. Some Italian grenades, like the L-type, had two pins that had to be removed to activate them. It is possible that German soldiers stationed in Italy used some of these grenades when fighting against the Allies as they got closer to liberating Rome. The Nazis would not have known how to properly use these explosives and probably learned about the two-pin system the hard way. The story of German ineptitude quickly went viral and remains popular to this day, even as it has been theorized that the note was probably a joke. The find is even more unusual, as similar messages were usually unencrypted, and the bullet was found near an insignia from the 372nd Infantry Regiment, which never fought in Italy. In truth, the bullet cryptogram thought by some to likely be a British or American field cipher, remains unsolved. The Kohler Ciphers The Kohler cryptograms are a series of five encrypted World War II messages discovered by British forces in an outpost of the Abwehr. The codes appear to have been radioed by a German spy named Kohler or Kohler from New York City in February 1944. There has been speculation that the spy could have been Walter Kohler, whom the FBI thought they were using against Hitler all along. However, the organization eventually found out that Kohler was a Nazi triple agent. The Abwehr, translated simply as defense, was the name of the German military intelligence during World War II. 
Its main objective was to provide Hitler with valuable enemy information to have the upper hand against them. According to cryptographer David Kahn, the messages found by British forces were relayed under secret authority from Hamburg to Paris with instructions to submit at once. Kohler's still unsolved transmissions are unusual in that they appear to be one-time ciphers rather than one of the code systems used by most Nazi spies. Some historians speculate that Kohler may in fact have been Walter Kohler, a Nazi triple agent who turned himself into the FBI while still communicating with Hitler. For the duration of the war, FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover believed that they were using Kohler to sow fake intelligence, sending 115 false reports, including fake D-Day details. In reality, the Abwehr had records of twice as many Kohler messages sent from a radio transmitter in Rochester, New York. It is likely that Kohler did not have access to secret information and that all he knew was based on conversations with U.S. officers at hotels and bars. But there are also rumors that Kohler was trying to spy on the Manhattan Project, which was developing the American atomic bomb. London Blitz Ciphers Originally exposed behind a wall in an East London cellar after the German Blitz bombing, the Blitz ciphers were kept hidden for decades. It wasn't until 2011 that the owner of the encrypted papers contacted British crypto expert Nick Pelling to decipher them, but most of the documents are still being kept secret. Still, those that have been revealed seem to contain symbols and diagrams related to medieval alchemists and occultists. The identity of the Blitz cipher's owner has never been revealed, but he claims to be the nephew of the original homeowner. According to the man, stacks and stacks of encrypted documents were found in boxes. He initially handed crypto expert Nick Pelling three scans, and three years later, he provided him with another five. The papers appear to significantly predate their World War II discovery, and the sophistication resembles that of the Voynich manuscript. Several experts have suggested that the symbols and diagrams are related to medieval alchemists and occultists, and may be instructional in nature. They claim that the papers must belong to the 16th or 17th centuries, or that the ciphers could have also been used by 18th century masons. Rumors have also swirled about the papers being fake, using writing and paper styles to make them look old and rugged. Cipher historians and codebreakers have stated that the alphabet in the Blitz ciphers resembles symbols used by ancient astrologers, some of which were consulted by English personalities such as William Shakespeare and Queen Elizabeth I. But without physical access to the papers, no one can verify their authenticity. Their true nature remains a mystery, and the physical copies are still kept a closely guarded secret. Censorship Manual Steganogram During World War II, England screened all incoming and outgoing postal mail to prevent leaks of classified information from German spies. In 1939, the British government produced the Postal Censorship Manual to train British censors to spot hidden messages in letters and steganograms from all of its citizens. These messages could come in highly creative guises, from maps to fashion sketches where Morse code could be easily concealed. Screening postal mail was a common practice among war-torn nations to ensure that army personnel did not leak information related to military objectives and operations. One such example is this map of Amsterdam that included strangely detailed transportation information. Hidden in the dots and dashes was a Morse code that translated to, quote, Oil has arrived. Everything is ready. Gustav available for the appointed day. On another one, a simple fashion sketch about clothes hid an arrangement of dots and lines within the women's dresses. A solution is given, but the code is unidentified. It says, quote, heavy reinforcements for the enemy expected hourly. And a second message hidden in the signature reads, quote, before Arras. This could mean that British or French forces were regrouping to fight back the Germans, possibly before they surrendered in 1940 after the Battle of Dunkirk. But the alleged Morse code hidden in each figure's dresses has yet to be satisfactorily revealed. It seems like the postal censorship manual did not have all the answers.